Hi, I'm Raj Kumar, President and Editor-in-Chief of DevX, and here with a very special guest, Sir Fazle Hassan Abed, who of course is well known to the development community, one of the pioneers of, of modern day development, and uh, a forefather of microcredit, and now running one of the largest NGOs, maybe the largest by some metrics, the largest NGO in the world. Um, thank you so much for spending a few well, minutes with thank us. Thank you for having me in this interview. Yeah. It's, it's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. And I, I understand one of the messages you have while you're here at this week in New York is to talk about the ultra poor. So tell me what you mean by the ultra poor. Why do you think the global community needs to pay more attention? Really extreme, po extreme poverty is what we call ultra poverty. It's people who live not below $1.25 a day, but below maybe 50 cents a day. So these are ultra poor and these are more difficult to get, uh, get them out of poverty quickly. For example, we have been working on microfinance for the last 40 years. Many people have come out of poverty. People who are in the borderline between poverty and out of poverty, I mean, they're easier to get out of poverty. But it's the pe people who are really at the bottom of the uh, pecking order right. in the village. They are outside, they don't have kinship relationship which sort of holds them with them. So they are so marginalized that you find that they are, even microfinance organizations don't touch them. They're not reached because, by the traditional because, aid organizations. Because the, view, because the village's microfinance clients yeah. think that these are the people who won't be able to repay their loans, so therefore, why have them in our group? Okay. So, so they'll be kept outside. The real extreme poverty, which we call ultra poverty, is difficult to get get rid of just by ex existing processes of people coming out of poverty, like financial services to the poor, so that people can get into entrepreneur, various kinds of enterprises. So these are people who needs a little bit more than just financial services to get them out of poverty. Uh, so you need some some extra help for to get them onto a ladder then they can take the ladder and out of poverty. It's very interesting to me because it sounds very similar to what Jeff Sachs has been doing with the Millennium Villages program. Of course, he does it on a village level. And we do it on a family level. And you do it on a family level. Family level. So, so selecting the family in the village. So the, the way it works, we go into a village, let's say the 200 families, and we said that find the, the poorest 10 families in this house, in this village. So the villagers will sit down and then rank houses according to what they think would be the richest to the poorest. Okay. So, and then there will be lots of debates about, you see the poorest uh, <laughs> from this family, that family should come here, things like that. So, so the one whole day of discussion within the village. So we'll come out with the, with the, the poorest 10 or 15, 20 families. And it's it, in Bangladesh, it comes out approximately eight to ten percent of the house, house of, of the population are the very, very, very poor. And uh, then we start working, working with these poorest families. But we have seen that, you know, research has shown that people go on improving; that they don't fall back on because this has been the big critique poverty over, again. Maybe there have been a couple of critiques of the Jeff Sachs model in Millennium Villages. One that. It costs a huge amount up front to do this for everyone. And the second is, will it be sustainable once the subsidy is run out? You're saying there is no sustainability issue. This really works. So it works. It becomes sustainable afterwards. So these families are basically, we are trying to help them. We call them as a graduation model. Graduation out of extreme poverty into, a, into the ladder. And then we, they can come out themselves.